Good evening, YouTube. Uh, I got asked a while ago to go over my ships. I'm trying to work out which way around to do it. Um, before I filter, I will literally just scroll to start with. I've been trying to focus on most of my... <coughs> Excuse me, coughing. No, um pilots as you can see most of them now have at least one gear 12 at the helm or whatever um, switch it over to speed speed in in ships is as effective as arena i would say um, top ship it's showing as po although i believe they're pretty even. Yeah, 150, no, 194 there. There's my Po. The the one is the fact that I have 14 ship Omegas um, and I'm reluctant to part with them. I have one ship which is maxed. Um, and I've forgotten which one it is. 194 on Silencer as well. 194 on Imperial TIE Fighter and uh, a slow 192 First Order TIE Fighter. Who's next? Oh, you! Clocking in at 188. So, uh, yeah, here is my only maxed ship, the Umbarum Starfighter. And I did the ship Omega there for the additional 15% damage. Inflict target lock for two turns on target enemy, can't be resisted, then deal physical damage to each target locked enemy. This attack deals 20, plus 20% 20 damage for each target locked enemy. It's awesome. I should really use the ship more. I'm seeing quite a few popping in now to... Um, back into ship arena. I'll have to do some more vids. Um, my capital ships, uh, home one, oh my. Um, for anyone that's still working on getting home one to seven star, yeah, um, the the home one challenge has got. I still, I, I've meant to, I'm mentally scarred by it. I can't even recall it. I've blocked it out so much. But yeah, one day, maybe soon. That will be a viable high end or end game um, capital ship again. Executrix. Oh, really? Okay. Uh, Executrix. Yeah, love it. Love it, love it, love it. Uh, reluctantly switched over to Thrawn because this was my this was my capital ship from the start. Um, ability wise it's got a great set on there deal physical damage to target enemy and expose them for two turns deal physical damage to all enemies with a 55% chance to inflict ability block for one turn this attack deals 35% more damage for debuffed enemies all allies gain 40% turn meter and offense up for one turn Empire allies also gain potency up for one turn. This ability starts on cooldown. There's only three on the cooldown. And I save the best till last. The Imperial Assault. Deal physical damage 12 times to random enemy targets. These attacks can't be evaded. Target locked enemies are also stunned for one turn. This ability starts on cooldown. Um, not many ships survive that. That is awesome. Love it, love it. Oh, actually, and all allies deal 15% more damage for each debuffed enemy. This bonus is doubled for Empire allies. Reinforcement bonus. Reinforcements gain retribution for three turns. So, yeah, it's just... just I do love it. Um, Ty Reaper. Amazing ship. Uh, I've maxed my 
Def Trooper, except for I just can't bring myself to do that Zeta yet. Plus five percent heal, plus fifty percent turn meter gain, and Director Krennic can't be critically hit while Def Trooper is alive. I mean, it is a good Zeta, but I just it's not imperative. Um, and I'm slowly working on my Shaw. As you can see, I've given Shaw the Armatech tactical data, 110 tactics and resistance, just to boost him up. And the ship is pretty awesome. 71,000 health, 37,009 protection, 157 speed. I mean, yeah. And... The attacks and abilities on it are just fabulous. Deal physical damage to target enemy and inflict defense down for one turn. If that enemy has no debuffs, this effect can't be resisted by rebels. And this enemy, the enemy capital ship, loses 35% turn meter whenever any ship is defeated. Which means that if you go in, yeah, Reaper v Reaper, um... It's more the fleet than than the reinforcements. Yeah. Do like it. Um, this is one that I'm slowly kind of working on again. Um, Slave 1, which is an awesome ship. Um, deal physical damage to target enemy with a 55% chance each to damage them a second and third time. Each hit has a 55% chance to inflict target lock for two turns, but hits after the first di di after the first deal 75% less damage. Target lock gain 20% turn meter on each critical hit. I mean, it's just and this has got to be one of the fungiest abilities in game. The seismic charge. It's just wicked. Deal physical damage to all enemies plus bonus damage equal to 30% of their maximum health. This attack ignores armor and protection. This ability starts on cooldown. That's why if you can keep him alive and in your lineup, in, in your starting lineup, he can really wreak some damage. Um, yeah, working on him. Um, as you can see, I've only got one piece here which is the health how far away oh, we're miles away i've definitely got the second group part there so i just need really all i need is another 54 pieces of salvage and i've got two of them and oh look in there so many i'm thinking ig88 because he is as squishy as anything but quite a few people apparently need the mark 12 armor tech med pack prototype um yeah back to the ships where else are we going Just awesome ship although i've got to be honest um it's not stunning anywhere near as much as it was Deal physical damage to target enemy and stun them for one turn if they have more than 50% turn meter. Otherwise gain advantage for two turns. Or maybe I should read the blurb again. Right. Hang on. Sorry. I need to go back and look at that. When they have more than 50% turn meter. Okay. Cool. Deal physical damage to target enemy. If the TIE Silencer has advantage... This attack deals 75% more damage. If this attack defeats an enemy, gain 20% turn meter and foresight for two turns. And each time the TIE Silencer is damaged or damages a target locked enemy, it gains plus 10 speed and plus 10 offense stacking until the end of the encounter. And this I could, I have looked, actually, I lied. It's 8% offense stacking because I could 
do the upgrade, which will leave me with nine ship Omegas. Oh, it is tempting. I just need them. Tell me that they're coming into the game and then I will deploy. Definitely. Um, Ty Advanced. Another wicked ship. 5% damage. Oh, so no. Deal physical damage to target enemy and inflict target lock for two turns. This attack can't be resisted or evaded. Target lock. Inflict two damage over time effects for three turns. And target locked enemies have minus 20% tenacity and immediately regain target lock for two turns whenever target lock expires on them. In addition, Empire allies gain plus or gain 10% turn meter whenever they attack a target locked enemy. This is 10, but it, it adds 5% turn meter gain. Inflict evasion down and ability block on target enemy for two turns, then gain 20% turn meter for each debuff on that enemy. Target lock. Dispel all buffs and remove 100% turn meter. So it's then gain 25 for each debuff. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Uh, they're, they're all, you know, eventually they will come through. Um, another pilot. Look at that. Yeah. Completely done. Including um, that, I believe, which is the Zeta. Which meant that I couldn't do the GK sync, but it, first order Tie Fighter. When I first started playing, the pilot was was OP and got nerfed, and has come back and now been superseded by his special forces counterpart. However, he still is a fantastic tune. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to really say. I mean, I'm flicking through them. I'm not going to click on each and every one of them. Scimitar is great. Uh, Scimitar, if you watch any of my ship arenas, ship Scimitar is always there. Gauntlet Starfighter, excellent ship. Um, bit niche, great against uh, a Thrawn capital, or well, against Thrawn in ships, because one of the abilities is dispel all debuffs on all allies and grant them protection up 20% for two turns doubled for empire allies ah we're on 18% so that's 36% on empire ships uh, but the dispel is great and then you've got the uh Deal physical damage to target enemy and inflict buff immunity for one turn that you can throw out there as well. Deal physical damage to target enemy. Target lock. Grant another random ally 20% turn meter. And Gauntlet Starfighter has plus 20 speed and gains an additional 5 speed for each active Empire ally. Additionally, it grants 20% defense to all allies doubled for empire allies hmm with the changes coming in yes oh that was the other thing of course is at present without any new ones introduced i've got a pokemon set yeah. <laughs> i am looking forward to trying out the geonosians with the new the new setup um can be interesting to see what they change to make them just not dead in space waiting to be hit as is like, resistance x-wing which i can't tell you the last time i used um the wigs combo i very rarely use wedge other than one if i've donated everything else and on the light side territory battles as per plo i mean there's so many ships that or well, so many we don't have lots of ships as you can see was it 32 
eight. Yep, 32. And if you take away the capital ships, um, what's that? It's 28, isn't it? Yeah, there you go. You can get a maths lesson as well. Um, that, I'm going to wind it up there. Uh, if it raises questions, uh, by all means, pop in the chat. Um, but otherwise, thank you for watching. I hope you all have great days.